We're going to be looking at fixing printer connection and printer issues for Windows 10 and Windows 11. So let's start with an assumption. First of all, I'm assuming before we get started on our troubleshooting that the printer has been installed and it worked previously. And say three weeks, four weeks, two days, a day later, it you try to print and it won't print. So that's where I'm beginning my troubleshooting. If we're talking about installing printers from, from the get-go, you've got a box and a printer inside and you're installing, that's a totally different process. And I may cover that in, a, in an upcoming video. Right now, we're assuming your printer has been installed and that it worked previously and now it is not working. All right, step one, we're going to power cycle the printer. Both manufacturer, printer manufacturers, and Microsoft make this the very first step. We're going to pull the printer plug out of the wall. We're going to, if it's in a power strip, turn off the power strip, pull them out of the wall or turn off the power strip for at least five seconds. Allow that hardware to totally de-energize, then power on or plug it back in and see if it functions properly. This seems simple, but it is a crucial step. This is known as power cycling. What we don't want to do is use the power button on the printer. That's the incorrect way. That does not what we call de-energize all the hardware and re-energize the hardware. It does turn some functions off on your printer, but not all of them. So pull the plug, turn off the power strip. If that's the way you've got it connected, de-energize that printer, power it back on. See if it works. Once you've power cycled your printer. Also try and restart your computer before you start playing with the printer again. Go ahead and restart the printer now that you've power cycled the, the printer and restart the computer and do a test page. My hope is many of you, this simple first step is going to get your printer working. You're going to be done with me, done with this YouTube video, and you're going to be back to printing. If you're not, let's go to step two. Many of you are going to have printers that are connected by an Ethernet cable. Make sure you go back to the back of the printer and unplug that Ethernet cable and plug it back in. Some of you will have an LED indicator that will come on or go off when you unplug and go on when you plug in. That's a good sign that you've got the right connection when you plug it in. Also go back to the back of the router where the other end of the cable is and make sure it's plugged in tightly into the router. So when your printer is connected with an ethernet printer, one, one end of your ethernet cable will be in your printer. The other one will be in the back of your router. Make sure you unplug both and plug them both in. That testing that connection is critical before we waste a whole lot of time doing other things when it was only a connection issue. One nice thing about an ethernet connection in your printer is many times the router connection and your printer connection will have an LED indicator. When it's properly connected, those LEDs should come on. If your situation is that you're connecting your printer to your computer via USB cable, this is very popular also. Go to the back of your printer, unplug the USB cable, plug it back in. Go to your computer, unplug the USB cable plug it back in. Many times on your computer, you'll hear an audible sound when you unplug and re-plug a USB cable into your computer. So if you hear that audible sound, that's good. That indicates that the computer and the driver and the software recognize you're unplugging and plugging that cable back in. I would probably at this point, go ahead and power cycle your printer and restart your computer do a printer test page and see if your problem is solved. Let me show you how to generate a test page in both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So I'm gonna to come to Windows 10, come to the start, and I'm gonna come up to the settings gear icon. And then I'm gonna come over to devices, Bluetooth printers and mouse. Click on that. Come over to the printers and scanners. And here I can just click on the printer and go to manage and here a test print page. So I can click on that and it should generate a test page. Let's do the same thing in Windows 11. Come to the start icon in the middle of the taskbar. 
go to my settings, my gear icon, come to the Bluetooth and devices, and under here is printer and scanners. And whichever printer is yours, we'll go ahead and click on that. And here we see print test page, and you can click on that and it should generate a test page. Printers commonly use wireless to make their connection to your computer. So you connect your printer to your home router. Make sure that other wireless devices in your home are working. Your smart TV may be connected via wireless. You may have a doorbell that has a video that's connected via wireless. Make sure that all of those working. It wouldn't hurt at all to reboot your home router. Just power cycle, just like you do with your printer, power cycle your router. Just do the simple things first before we get into the more complex aspect of checking the wireless connection for your home printer. Once you've done all of this, look at your printer. You should see some kind of indicator that indicates wireless. And because every printer is different, it's hard to show you every printer. But I put a lot of different pictures and I'm showing you on the slide different pictures of different displays, different printers, where they show a wireless icon. It should be on, it should be lit, it should indicate that it's working. Here on the slide is an example of a printer control panel where the wireless button is there, but the LED light is off. So make sure that your wireless icon indicator is lit and on and working. Now let's explore and see if your printer manufacturer provides some assistance, either a smartphone app or some software, something that will help you connect your printer to your router via Wi-Fi. We're going to leverage Google, so go to google.com, and we're gonna type in your printer brand, printer model, and the word support. And let's see if we get some links that we can go to to quickly take us to the support page for your brand printer and your printer model. So I'm going to go to Google search engine and type in my, this is a brother. My particular printer is a brother. It's a DCP 8150. And I'm just gonna put in support and see if that will get a link that takes me right to that support. And it looks like that looks good because that's brother.usa.com. So I will want to make sure that I'm going to the right sites. I don't want to go to a site like helpowl.com. That is not Brother. That is not has anything to do with the company that makes Brother printers. Here's an IBM. I don't want to go there. Printerdrivers.com. I don't want to go there. I want to go to a link that takes me to the website of the manufacturer brother. So I'm going to go here. So it takes me to this page and I can see I've got downloads, FAQs, troubleshooting manuals, consumable. What I want to do is see, does this particular printer have a app, a smartphone app that I can install that will help me connect via wireless? Is there a special software that I can run on my computer or my laptop that will help me connect wireless? Spend a few minutes in here and see if there's any of those assistant products, software, smartphone apps that will help you connect your printer to your router's Wi-Fi, allowing us then to connect it to the network. Your laptop then can see it and we can move on and print. So here's an example of Canon where I you can find both a mobile app for your iPhone or for your Android that will help you connect your printer up wirelessly. So this is great because this will be much easier to help you connect your printer to your router at your home wirelessly than probably anything else. Epson has something similar. They call it Epson Printer Finder. So this is what you want to look for. We see here Brother has a Brother Mobile Connect app that you can put on your Android and your iPhone that again will assist you in connecting your printer via Wi-Fi. HP has a very nice app called the HP Smart App. Again, this will help you not only set up your printer but connect it wirelessly and even do much, much more. Now some printers will have software that you can download, put on your laptop, put on your desktop, and again it walks you through as you can see these dialog boxes that's helping the user connect their printer via wireless. 
So while you're on those support pages, look carefully and see if there's either software you can download or a mobile app that you can install on your phone. Again, all of those ways make it much easier to help a non-technical person connect their printer to, the, to your home router. Now, once you have done this, go ahead and generate a test page to the printer and see if you got it working. Okay, Mr. Vanderpool, my printer is too old. Smartphone apps don't support it. There doesn't seem to be any additional software that helps me. What am I going to do to connect my printer wirelessly? Well, in your case, we're going to have to do it the old fashioned way. Get the user guide, find the chapter that deals with connecting wirelessly and follow the steps. Here's where we're going to have to go back to your printer's instructions on how to connect via Wi-Fi. So we're going to use Google as your friend. Go to Google's homepage and type in your printer brand, your printer model, and then simply type user guide PDF. And that should get you a list of PDF user guides for your brand and your model. Go ahead and open those PDFs. So I've opened up Google and I'm going to type in my printer brand, which is brother and my printer model. Then I'm going to type in user manual PDF and that will allow Google to search for a list of links that could get me to that manual. Notice here, as we look at this list, I want anything that's got brother.com. Here's another one, brother.com. Those are safe. We know this is taking, these search links are indicating this is from the company brother. If I go down here, I see manualsfile.com. That is not brother, the company brother, which manufactures my printer. So I'm going to avoid any of these other websites, mans.io. That's not brother. That doesn't manufacture printers, so I'm not going to go to those links. So here I'm going to go to this one. And it's giving me basic user guide, advanced user guide, software user guide. And I can download all three of them and then look at them. What I'm looking for is the step by step how to connect my printer wirelessly. Now, let's be honest, a lot of non technical people, when they find themselves with a manual and this technical, logical, step-by-step, -step, they find themselves very intimidated and they don't find them helpful at all. You may at this point want to bring a trusted friend over to the house to see if they can help you with this step. Great, Mr. Vanderpool, I'm down to the end of your video and my printer is still not working. What am I going to do? Well, if you still can't get your printer to work, you need to see my next video, which will be advanced printer troubleshooting for the non-technical. See you there. If you're watching me right now, you're the very person we're attempting to reach with our channel. People with a real interest to learn technical topics and skills. Because our content is free on YouTube and our audience is a relatively small group of viewers. If any of this material is helpful to you, we would appreciate your support. You can support the channel as simple as liking a video. Hit that like button because it helps others like you find our content. You can subscribe. It's an effective way of supporting us. And if you can, if you're able, you can become a member of the channel. It's $2.99 a month, less than a cup of coffee. And we really want your comments and feedback on any video we produce. And thank you for supporting Tech Savvy Productions.